CBS 4 News traffic alert, and most everyone in South Florida just loves comparing stories about how bad their commute is. Guilty. Tonight, you might be able to take it one step further, though. We have a list of the worst commuting zip codes and what you can do if one is yours. Here's CBS 4's Bianca Peters. In South Florida, I hate the traffic. A lot of people hate traffic here. South Florida is popular, it's growing, and the rush hour traffic is no joke. From 7 a.m. to 9, it's just forget about it, it's a nightmare. Yeah, I'll be late all the time. As a commuter in South Florida, your patience is probably one traffic jam away from a full on honking explosion. We all roll our eyes at the amount of time we spend in traffic here, but some have it worse than others. The worst experience I've had was going from Kendall all the way over here, which is like almost two hours from seven to nine. A recent South Florida Business Journal article ranks zip codes with the worst commute times. If your zip code is on the screen, you are driving from the top five worst areas where some drivers spend an average of 60 to 89 minutes in traffic just to get to work. Broward County rounds out the bottom of the list with Fort Lauderdale and Hollywood zip codes. Well, the number one worst place to commute from is Fisher Island. Well, that's because there's only one way in and one way out, and that is by ferry. Last year, Miami drivers spent an average of 64.8 hours driving in congested traffic here. That's a little over a two-day vacation. For J.C. Garcia, public transportation has been a way to save money and avoid that traffic nightmare. It's better for the environment. You don't have to pay insurance. You don't have to pay gas. And it's just readily available. So here's some tips that we found to help you deal with traffic. Number one, leave earlier. Cringe, I know, but maybe you can find a gym close to work, avoid that traffic, and maybe even get some apps. Number two, check out South Florida Community Services. They have a lot of options to help you navigate your commute with public transportation. Number three, have a soothing songs playlist for your ride. You'd be surprised at how good music can help change your body's response to stress. And if all else fails, call up a loved one, tell them hi, just because we don't do that enough. Hands free, of course hands-free. Reporting in Edgewater, Bianca Peters, CBS 4 News.